Um, so another series of Death in Paradise, and oddly, it remains incredibly popular. Between eight and nine million people watch every single time. Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah, I think it's the time of the year. Uh, all that glorious sunshine and gorgeous scenery. Inspires people. To, uh, we were saying before, Andy, I reckon it, the number of people who book a holiday based on watching yeah. Death in Paradise, yeah. there must be a spike every time it's on. Well, I think it comes out at the time of the year when people are feeling very low. And, and, and Christmas is over, mm -hmm. they're skint. Yeah. Uh, they've broken the resolutions, they're feeling bad about themselves. <laughs> yeah. And this uh, comes into their life, this shaft of light. <laughs> it does. For me, it's the sort of sunshine and Josephine. I mean, every time I watch it, I just want to be there. Which I'm imagining it's not, perhaps. Is it difficult? I mean, it doesn't feel like it's difficult filming, but there are there issues sometimes. Yeah, it's not as easy yet as it looks like. <laughs> uh, filming on a beach is very difficult, very difficult. It's the yeah. heat, it's very humid, you have the spotlights, the makeup, the costume, it's not easy at all. The heat yeah. doesn't bother us Irish at all. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're fine. I mean, I'm a Caribbean girl yeah. and I suffer from, from the really? heat. Yeah, so, yeah. Where does this series take us then? Well, the, the murder rate is still sky high. It's <laughs> really something, isn't it? Good news. I mean, not for the victims, obviously, yeah, or, or their families, but for us it's great. It gives us something to do. Um, uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's the usual stuff. I mean, there's a, lot of, there's a couple of locked room mysteries which aren't resolved, mm. and I think in a show like this, you know, we do tie things up quite neatly, and I think people quite find that satisfying. And I think that's also what, because it's, I don't mean this in a bad way, because it's sort of formulaic in that way, that's why it's easy for some actors to say, OK, I've, I've done my two series or whatever, so I'm going to move away now, and someone else comes in, and it doesn't actually ruin the rhythm of the programme. Exactly, yeah, yeah. I think, you know, it's a robust show like that. It, it, it survives... Uh, an infinite number of cast changes <laughs> and everything else. Uh, um, no, absolutely. Uh, you know, uh, you know, the, you know, the pleasures are many. You know, the, 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 I think it's ultimately about the puzzle itself. Mm. You know, people love this this idea of solving this, you know, apparently impossible puzzle. Um, Josephine, everybody who's listening to your accent this morning will realise that you're fr you're French. Yeah. And um, what's it like having to learn those scripts in English? Was it is it tougher for in English than in French or not? Yeah, it is because it's my second language, yeah. of course. But the first year it was series four. Um, I had nightmares pretty much every night because I was so nervous. Working with Arnold, yeah. Yeah, not no, 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 yeah, no, no, You'll no. have nightmares tonight, yeah. just leaving on the sofa. Yeah, it was very difficult for me, but now after like five years, it's yeah. getting more and more easier for me to learn script in English. And it's shown in France as well. It is, but it's during summer. Uh, it's quite popular in France too. I'm yeah. sure it is. Yeah. Well, it's very popular here. Thank you very much for coming on and talking to us all about it as well. Uh, Death in Paradise, BBC One, tomorrow night at nine. Yes. And then you can book your holiday straight away afterwards. Yes. <laughs> Good luck to all the people in that, on that island. Uh, thank you very much.